Hey guys, Josh here. So I'm making this video because I want to address a few things that I have stated in my last video. In case you're wondering what it was, it was me talking about the Smash Bros. Ultimate World of Light story being very bad. By the way, thanks for getting it to 117 views. There were some people in the comments of that video taking some of the stuff I said in the video seriously. When you shouldn't have done that. Well, maybe for some of the stuff I said, but not everything I said in there was 100% personal. Now, there weren't many people saying that the World of Light story isn't really bad, but they were saying it is kind of bad. And I, I, I just want to say this. If you like the World of Light story, that's fine. It's your opinion. But I don't like the story mode. I think it's pretty lame and just repetitive and just really just annoying at times. And somewhere at the end of the video, I was saying that some of the DLC characters we got in the Challenger packs were pretty bad. When some of them kind of were, but there were some people who took it seriously. I did get into a somewhat argument with one of the comments in the last video. And one of them were stating that Sakurai and Nintendo put a lot of time into making these characters, but I feel they don't support it enough. Our argument was about how j some of the DLC characters were and just how he rated them to be. I were saying that some of the DLC characters were bad in that video, but I was kind of over-exaggerating. I didn't really mean it 100%. There was also someone saying that I wasn't really just, you know, just over-exaggerating. I was just, like, spitting straight facts when really I was just joking around. I actually deleted the comment because that user was just getting really annoying, but I did actually screenshot it. It was from J O Sonic. He was like the main one who was complaining about the things that I said in the video. Especially with me saying some of the DLC characters being bad. He was basically telling me that just because I didn't know some of the DLC characters didn't mean that other people enjoyed them. And because people actually wanted them to be in Smash. When I was not one of those people. Now J.O. Sonic, if you're watching this video, you probably think I just play as Mario and Sonic in Smash when that's obviously false. I do play as Mario and Sonic in Smash, but I also play as Banjo-Kazooie, Kirby, Luigi, Link, and Donkey Kong. I just play lots of and lots of characters in Smash. I don't just play my main two, which are Mario and Sonic, you know. And haven't you ever heard of mains? People have mains in Smash Bros. The main character that they like to play as during battle. Once again, it was just my opinion, and really true Nintendo fans would actually respect that. I don't like some of the DLC characters. But Banjo and Kazooie and probably Sans, well, not really much of a DLC character, but I love those characters. And I like playing as Joker as well. There was also another person called Nathaniel Daniel V, and he was actually on JL Sonic's side. Then they were just telling me over and over and over that I was, they always think I have to, be, I always think I have to be right. When I'm not all right all the time, and I can really accept that. People nowadays just don't know how to handle opinions. And there are also people who just love to take things that people say seriously when it's not really supposed to be serious sometimes. So if you're a Smash Bros fanboy who's probably mad at me right now for saying some of the st stuff about the game being bad, please, it's just my opinion. You do not have to agree with me. I like, I really do love Smash Bros. Ultimate. It's probably one of my favorite games of all time. Mainly favorite Switch game of all time. I just love the game. But I don't love the story mode and some of the characters that not everyone asks for be in the game. Now that there are only two slots left, there are probably two chances of Sakurai pleasing all of the Smash Bros. fans and putting in good characters that we actually want in the game. Banjo and Kazooie are probably the only exception. And Joker too. And let's not forget Piranha Plant. Seriously, who asked for Hero? Who asked for Min Min? Who asked for Byleth? Now, Steve and Terry were of course requested characters, and that's fine. But still, I feel Nintendo should add more iconic characters, because there are of course some people who don't even know that some of the characters are. We're kind of getting off topic here, but yeah, basically what I'm saying here is... I don't relate to most of you people is what I'm trying to say. I don't like... I mean, I really love Smash Bros. Ultimate. I don't like some of the characters, the, the, the DLC. You just have to learn to accept opinions. Not everyone has to, like, agree with anything. I'm kind of going on of a bit of a rant right now. So, in conclusion, people just have to learn to accept opinions. 
And that's basically hinting at another video that's going to be uploaded on this channel soon. Alright, well that was pretty much everything I wanted to say. Hopefully I didn't make everyone mad. I hope I didn't. Can you just imagine a few people being like, Oh, can we get by 11 Smash? I highly doubt one person in the world has said that. Well, maybe a few people, but still. I'm probably just going overboard now. So I'll just end it right here. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Also, J.O. Sonic and Nathaniel Daniel V. Please do not start any arguments. I don't want to do that anymore. And no arguments at all. Bye.